check check it out. It's a chocolate vending machine. It's a chocolate bear with a heart on it. So chocolate bars with hearts for what, 16 bucks, and then you got the chocolate bear for $28 about, $29, yeah. The bear's name is Rita, Rita Bear. So, and then they have these tart chocolates down here, the little mini ones, like that. Now, that's tiny, here's, here's some samples over here, what they are. So three, four dollars for these. And these chocolate bars here are 16 bucks. They better be good quality, huh? Nice packaging, but the bear, that is cute overload right there. Look at that. If I was a girl and a guy gave me that, he would get some. Chocolate covered pretzels, chocolate covered potato chips, which is first? Potato chips, yeah. Ooh, they're pretty chocolatey. Heavy. Mmm. They're crunchy, they're creamy. Just a little bit of salt. But you know what? They're more like a mix between a potato chip and a cookie. They're sweet. I mean, aside from the chocolate, they're sweet. They don't really taste like a potato chip. They taste like a, a cookie, like a processed cookie. Let's get into the pretzels. It's gonna be interesting to uh, compare these, isn't it? Yep. These are clearly pretzels, but they're a mix between a pretzel and a biscuit and very little salt. You'd expect more salt with pretzels, right? I would. I'd rather just have regular pretzels. But these things, I would get these again. And pretzels sure do make you thirsty, I'll tell you that. I wonder I could get some water. I do happen to have a cup. I got the Cheers and Beers mug. Yep, this clown. Yep. Oh, looky there. Got some clean sewage water running here. Oh yeah. It's actually, uh, oh, 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 almost fell in the water. It's actually spring water. Yep, and this stuff is delicious. I've had this before. Ah, oh, it's good. And if you haven't checked out my merch yet, <laughs> there's a link right up there. Yep, there's a whole bunch of different coffee mugs and t-shirts and things like that. A total of 32 designs. So have a look, thanks a lot. Appreciate you supporting the channel. This is the sign for a post office in Japan. It's a T with a line over it. So, you know, you put your mail in there. Classic, old style. I like that. And then we've got the boss man here. So the real life version of this character is Tommy Lee Jones. That's what they use for their uh, television commercials. Coca-Cola. Of course, the panda bear. Yeah, they like bears in Japan. Dr. Pepper. Fan of grape, that's a good one. Real gold, so-so. Oh, they've got Canada to dry ginger ale. This machine is by the Dido company. So no name cola. This is their energy drink. Oh, look at this, we got a liquor shop, hello. Got Gold Star Sapporo. Got a no alcohol beer here. These are canned cocktails, they're called Chew Highs. This is a good one here, the Strong Zero, I like these. I've never seen them in a vending machine though. There's a lemon sour. There's another 0% alcohol. Cause you could just drive to this place. Like I drove to this place, right? So I'll get this and then take it home for later. 200 yen, $2 cocktail. It's 9% alcohol too, so this will, uh, yeah, this will get you going. Got 300 yen left, let's see what else we can get. A little vegetable stand. Yeah, Glenn? Okay. Yeah, Glenn, all right. This is the best vending machine ever right here, a little box. Hi. Thank you, Hi. Tomo. Hi. Got them just before I closed up. Strong Zero, this is the double lemon flavor. Crack them. Cheers. Oh man, now that is refreshing. Mmm, it tastes just like a hard lemonade. 
It's perfect just as it is. There's several brands that make these, but Strong Zero, I believe this is my favorite brand. It's by Sun Tony. No day is complete without my every burger. Yes, they're stocked. Oh, I think I'll get two. IC card check. Get some best day of my life. Oh yeah. Look at this. We're getting some tourist information and um hungry for some honey. Look at this vending machine. Beetopia Harajuku? Bruh, no way! Oh my gosh, look at that. I've never ever seen a honey vending machine. Oh, look at that, he's got the bee hat. The beekeeper is in there. Look at that, he's got the hat on. Oh, I'm all over this. Shout out to Tomoko for finding this machine. <laughs> nice job, Tomoko. What's going on, Petite Mall? We need something to dip in the honey. Tequila Paquila. Yep, those will dip into honey nicely, I think. Mm hmm. 130. 130. Number nine. We gotta try the bum rolls for 160. Oh, almost lost it. Oh, these are gonna be perfect with honey. Oh, yes. All right, I have just arrived at the community center and we're gonna go in and see what kind of vending machines they have. Gotta be something in here, right? Yep. Community centers. These are gold mines for vending machines. Yep, I haven't been to one in a long time. Uh, Coca-Cola in the middle. What are these dark ones? Oh, hello Eric, nice reflection. Green tea, coffee is in a box. I like they're coming in a carton. Standard Coca-Cola vending machine. They got Dr. Pepper. And then what's this? I've never seen this before, the Food X machine. And these are, what are these, buns, huh? Maple chocolate, cream, sweet potato, I've had that one before. There's a curry one. Butter, bumkuchen. Oh, good German stuff in here. Look at that, it's a sweetened matcha latte. Standard green tea, cafe au lait, fruit juices, hoji cha latte, roasted green tea latte. Let's try that for 110. There it is. Oh, nice. Oh, it's sweetened. Oh, I hate it when they're sweetened. And this is a gourmet coffee machine. Gourmet because they grind it right here for you. You can see in this little window. So you put your money in. Uh, let's figure out what we want first. Uh, Georgia. Not my favorite brand, but uh, oh, this looks good. Caramel macchiato. 
art though, now they're calling this art, because they're gonna, that's the one we gotta get, because we gotta see what the design looks like. I'll get it cold. So you decide how strong you want it. It's it, the default is the center. I'm gonna have it like all the way strong. Okay, extra strong, some more beans. And this is the sato or the sugar. So I don't want any sugar, and that says nasi, so no sugar. And cream, I don't want any cream either. And when you got it right, you push the order button. And go, oh! Look at all those beans. And now it says now it's grinding it. Yeah, it's right, right there on the bottom. It's filtering it. Oh my gosh, that's incredible. They, they let you see the whole process. All the way from the bean. Oh, oh, there we go, it moved. Oh! That is so cool. Thank you, Georgia. So that was a fail. If you get ice in it, obviously you're not gonna get the artwork, right? But the picture shows the artwork. It's good though. It's got the caramel, but there's no sugar besides the caramel, if that makes sense. There's no sugar added to the coffee. It's actually really good. And then to throw it away, it goes right here. So what are they selling, Maga? Oh, egg sandwiches. It's a ref refrigerator. And then you pay here. So that this is the machine. Pretty cool. I love this, man. All right. So here, let's check it out. 300 yen. Three dollars a sandwich. Well, how many are we gonna get? Like two? Oh, there's none left. Oh, we can still get some. You know what we'll do? We'll go feed the uh, the koi fish. We haven't done that in a long time. Yeah. Right? The koi fish in, in our little river. You used to do that when you were a kid. You used to love that. Right? Remember? Yeah. So it's 46 yen, which is about 50 cents. 50 yen. Yeah. Tamago Sando vending machine. I guess we'll have to come back in the morning. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, somebody's here. Skute kurimasu ka? Oh, yasashi! She says she's gonna make 10 more because there's some people standing around here and we're cold and uh, yeah, it's the end of the day though, so it was like, it should be game over, but. That's good, hello doggy. Hello doggy, two doggies. Oh, nak tomodachi desu ka? <laughs> While we're waiting for the sandwiches, why don't you try the bread here, Mega, the crust. This is the uh, appetizer, <laughs> the crust first, and then the sandwiches. They're coming out. Only 10 of them, though. How to tie it. <laughs> it's kind of hard, but the fish will love it. Open the door. <laughs> Got the last two. I'm gonna give her a little tip because that was like savis, as they say in, in Japanese. You know, she was she was done for the day of business and she went back in there and made some more. So I'm gonna pay. Uh, for two sandwiches. The real price is uh, so three dollars each. Ah, oh, that's it, that's it. We're gonna eat fast because it's freezing out here. It's definitely like close to zero. This is cold. As soon as that sun goes down. Yep, I've seen this place on the internet and people rave about this place. Egg salad sandwiches, yo. Yep. Oh, I can smell them right through the mask. Yeah. Good stuff, everybody's gone now. Yep, it's a popular place, my goodness. All these people just showed up right at the same time we did. That was crazy. Yeah. Yeah, we were lucky, they were just going home, so. If we would've come five minutes later, it would've been game over. See, See you in, in the, the next, next life. life. All right, here we go. Well, they're definitely nice and chilled, right? Yeah. They're gonna be frozen in a minute, so let's go. Ready, cheers. Egg salad sandwiches from a vending machine. Mmm. There's a lot of egg here. When you buy the ones in the convenience stores, you don't get that much. 
This thing is, they're, look at it, I mean, packed. Packed with egg salad. There's not a whole lot of mayonnaise, right? Yeah. I like how they cut up the egg whites like that into small pieces. It's nice, it's very creamy. And no vegetables, right? there's no uh, like onions or celery, nothing yeah. like that. It's very pure. I think it's the best sand egg sandwich. Really? I prefer a little spice. A little pepper or Maybe something, a little hot sauce, something. Something to give it some crunch, maybe some celery, onions, but but it's pretty darn good. This is just the way they do it in Japan. We'll eat the rest of these in the car later. But right now we need to rate this complete vending machine extravaganza tour. And he's only been here for just this part. So go ahead and rate the sandwiches, Mega. Hold them up. You're just gonna rate the sandwiches alone. And then I'm gonna give my rating of this whole tour as a whole. Okay? What do you think? Egg sandwiches from a vending machine. I'll give it a six. He's going six! Oh, snack packs, yo! <laughs> I don't even have to rate the meal now. Nice. Personally, I would give these about a four and a half. And I don't do halves, so I really calculated that. That was, yeah, four and a half. It's a gnome and a half. So, yep, snack packs. Yep, I wanna thank you guys for watching. I don't know how long this video is because I've been working on it for two, three weeks. It's so hard to find new vending machines. So you let me know if you find any new ones. And we shall see you for a future episode of more vending machines. I'm on a mission to find every different food vending machine in the whole country of Japan. That's right, that's how much I love these darn things. So because it was a perfect six, and I believe it was a six too, to be honest, the whole thing. So uh, I'm giving away three to get some snack packs. Um, the only thing you have to do is put a comment down below. You'll automatically be entered. And there's a link right up here if you want to check out the contents of the snack pack. So thank you guys so much for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And as always, he never reads your comments. I always read your comments. We'll see you in the next life. <laughs>